Hey, I'm Kevin with Morphin Time Fitness. And if you need a great podcast to listen to when you're working out, it's time to download Action Activate. That's the iconic pose from the end of the end of the opening credits. But I am Gazbot, and this is Action Activate. And if I am Gazbot, and this is Action Activate, then with me as always, it's I, the big dog, also rocking the the oh, Bucky shirt for a second best, time in a row. Best there is. Oh There's man, more in Texas at least they're so huge. They have real food inside. They do. The food's really good. I know they're you think I'm joking. A video game. No, it's it's really great. <laughs> But we're not here to talk about Bucky's for the no. second week in a row. No, we're no. here to talk about Mystic Force for the second time in a row. I almost said Morphin Time Fitness. Shout out Kevin and the crew uh, because of the opener. But um, this episode, I already liked better. I didn't love it, but I liked it better than the last episode for sure. I did too. Um, I do feel like they were trying to smush too much stuff in this episode. Yes. Um, especially they had a lot of backstory, some of which we knew, some of which we suspected about like, you know, the history of, of Daggeron and all those guys back in the day. And, and like, I would have liked a whole episode of that. Just mm-hmm. show a whole episode of that backstory, really clarify it because it was like, some of it I remember, but some of it was talked about like many episodes ago. I'm like, Oh yeah, that. And like one thing that I forgot, for example, is like, they all seem to have, these different forms originally. And I'm like, Oh, the ancient forms or whatever that was, what was the deal with that? I don't remember, you know? And then we got, we got this guy, the Imperius. Oh, I'm, I'm so terrible with names. Imperius. I think it's Imperius. Imperius. He had like three forms. Cause he had like, like his ancient form. Then he had a semi ranger form that still looked like a villain. And then this form, and he cycled through all three of them in this episode. And then, but he also had the, the sort of ranger form that was also evil at some point. And then, so he had like, it's like, what are we doing? Why? I don't know. And remember. a human form once. And a human form. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I don't know. It's just a lot. And it's like, can we slow down for half a second and explain some of this stuff a little bit better, but maybe they never do explain it a hundred percent, but. Um, so full spoilers ahead. Yeah. Um, did you have inklings of any of the things revealed in this episode? Absolutely. Um, okay. partially because of living in the world and having an idea that there are secrets in this episode. And I've also seen images of a character that we haven't seen yet. That looks a lot like a character we have seen. Yeah. Um, and so I imagine there was a connection there, but even if I didn't have those ideas since the beginning of the show, there's been this weird connection between, um, the red Ranger and Korag that we don't quite understand. And Korag's had the sense of honor and everything. And then, the last couple episodes they've really been hammering home like we can't trust you you have all this honor it's weird and they're like boy leanbow sure had all this honor i i hated that and he's like oh i keep having these visions of leanbow it's like yeah i mean so he's leanbow right i mean <laughs> yeah um so uh i don't remember how surprised i was back in the day but mm-hmm. obviously going into this i knew um I think and as, as a kid, I would imagine most kids wouldn't make those connections until the last couple episodes. I think they yeah. kind of set it up here. Yeah the the way Red and uh, Korag are connected, you could say it has to do with the Power Ranger power magic, whatever. And then this episode, they're like, no, like we're yeah. very much putting it in your face. Like, hey, these yeah. two are connected. Um, what did you think of the connection with Udana? Uh, to to that being her husband you mean or yeah well i knew they had talked about leanbo being her husband and i figured korag was leanbo so how, what did i think of the reveal that korag was in fact her husband yeah i think that was more shocking to her than it was to me because she's like oh, he's alive like yeah come on catch up lady <laughs> so and, yeah, and then the connection to red well, I mean, I assume that's that's their child. You know, they don't say it, but it's, you know, that's their child. Right? That's I mean, what I'm saying. I'm saying, what are your thoughts on the connection between Red and Udana? 
that that's his mom. Yes. I, I his mom. knew that. I yes. knew that going in. I'm asking you okay. as a Everything. fresh viewer. Okay. Everything I said about Korag being turning out to be Leanbo, I had the exact same feelings about the Red Ranger being his son and Udana's son. Got it. In the sense that I knew there was like more to this than meets the eye and people kind of tiptoed around, which I appreciate. No, there was no overt spoiling. But since the beginning, there's been this connection between the two of them. I knew that Korag kind of wasn't what he seemed. And like, you know, he didn't, the Red Ranger's like, I don't know who my parents are. And then we see the baby go like missing. And then it's like, yeah, it was, you know, there are plenty of breadcrumbs. Now, as a kid, would I have picked all that up? I don't know. Certainly not till this point. But as an yeah. adult, even <laughs> if I hadn't kind of had rumblings that there's like secrets being revealed, I think it, it wasn't a shock. It, you know, it was fine. It's fun. I'm not like this is terrible and badly done, but it was not a shock as an adult that yeah. the three of them are essentially a family. Okay. It's cool. I like it. I think I would have liked it more as a kid, you know, because it would have been more of a surprise. But I, I see what you're kind of leading me like, can you believe it? And, and I just, I, if I'm being honest, I, I didn't have that shocking moment. It was like, okay. I can. In fact, I can believe it. Yeah. yeah, we're finally, okay, we're finally going to talk about the thing that I pretty much guessed a long time ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. With kind of very early in this episode, them being like, I don't know. And then, like, by the end, they just blatantly put it in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh, that is a good thumbnail. Uh, I do like this um, aspect where we see them train sometimes, but yeah. I like them doing it in this format because it feels believable. Yeah, where they're fighting, everybody else is watching, so they're learning from that. Everybody's rotating it. Like a, a lot of stuff, obviously we don't see, but makes sense the way they set up the situation, which I appreciate. I um, absolutely agree. And also, just not them being like, "I'm kind of bored at the record store today." Like, "Oh, we're doing <laughs> ranger prep. Cool." Yeah. So Thanks. the record store must be closed because there's no employees there. Yeah, it's you know a holiday. Who knows? But I also, uh, like uh, going back to like breadcrumbs for people to follow. How uh, they talk about his teacher Leanbo, and now he's the teacher of the Red Ranger. Who's who's the Red Ranger's name? I keep blanking on his name. Uh, well, Nick. Brody, but it's not Brody. Nick. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Brody's from Ninja Steel, I think. Uh, so Nick, Nick gives him his weapon back and wins, even though like you, he's honorable and gets a fair win. And, I know. And, and it's like, oh, he loves honor. He's an honorable because you get that from genetics. You see, that's he's an honorable. That was the guy. thing. They're like, "Why didn't you just do it?" No, nah, there's no honor in that. I'm like, "Oh yeah. God, here yeah. we go." <laughs> yeah, but I do like Dagron was a good teacher where he was like, "Oh, you got me fair and square." Good. Like there was no weirdness of like, "Ooh, you beat me," but you know, he was like, "Good, good job. You're a good student." And then the really awkwardness of like, "Yeah, like Limbo," and then like. <gasps> <laughs> like it's Voldemort. It's like, what yeah. do you mean? You know about my husband who disappeared and my child who I don't know who they are, but they're here the whole time. But I do like how he does. It is kind of a good joke. He's like, and, and you swore you wouldn't tell. And he's like, and I didn't until just now. Like, it's like, I, I kept that scene for quite a while. <laughs> so this whole scene yeah. is what I want out of the entire series. And we only get it in little snippets where everybody is true to their characters. Right. We have good development and we see them work together and not have it be some ra like that felt like a snapshot in time of this feels like two thirds into the series. This is where we should be. Right. Right. And then a bunch of other baloney happens this episode that we're going to get to through flashbacks and clipped on ponytails. <laughs> Yeah, so they th see the whole thing about Leanbo, New Donna, and Nick, and you know. Here's the thing I don't understand. Um, yeah. Maybe it has to do with filming. Everybody played both their young version and their old version, except for Udana. Wait a minute. Well, well, Daggeron didn't age because he was stuck in a time portal, so that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and Leanbo, hold on. Let's see, Leanbo. Yeah, Daggeron is the same age, so he should. Huh. Yeah, that is weird. And yeah. then same with the other bad guy. He comes in Nick, later. It's Nick the same played guy. himself here, too, and he looks Ex the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then uh, Phineas. I almost said Fergus, but that's from Supernatural. Phineas, Phineas is the Fergus. same later. No, Fergus uh, Crowley. Oh, I was doing Phineas and Ferb. But no. Well, Phineas is not a human, so we don't know what his lifespan or. I know. Is. I'm saying everybody is clearly the same. And, and again, if they just had her with a wig or like, you know, right. CGI'd her hair brown, that's fine. It's the I'm fact that she was the only different one. It was more distracting than not. If they let Leanbo look exactly like this, it could be the same as Dagron, where like he went into this mystic evil form and he comes out looking the same. But they did put some gray in his hair and stuff, I think. 
and took away his uh, ponytail. But is it is it just like sexism? <laughs> is it sexism? Like well, no, men are I, I, I I'm I'm arm. thinking it's a filming thing, but I don't know. It is weird though. You're right. I I noticed it, but I didn't think about it too much because I I because I knew Dagron didn't change. And I'm like maybe. Does Leanbo not change? But no, he does take yep. off his ponytail, as you say. And then just steal points me. What do you yeah, think of the forms? I was gonna say, what do you think of his ancient form? I don't like the I don't understand or like them. That looks like a common rider villain or something. Like, yeah, I don't what are we looking at here? So like, to it, me, I, I like the idea they're going for of there's these pre-ranger forms. Like Ranger's the refined modern day form, but these are the ancient powers before they're you know honed into a power ranger i feel like they didn't explain that well enough to my they didn't and i'm not defending that i'm saying this doesn't bother me because of that um what i find also looks like super evil like yeah he he kind of does yeah um but you know cool enough like we get these suits you know cool beans um and then uh oh yeah what's her name's exactly the same wait because no, she's like reincarnated no, that's later. Her, that's her mom. It's some um, whatever. Everybody's the same actor or actress <laughs> except for Udana is my point but proven I, further. You're right, but I think she's supposed to be playing her mom who died. Whatever, dude. Once it's again, still... reminding us that she had this amazing sorceress mother and she has those powers, but she doesn't and now she's back to comic books. Exactly. Um we get, you know, more that's mom. her mom there in her weird not ranger form. Yeah, yeah. This, this is obviously from the Sentai. And I wonder, I feel like, are they just different characters in the Sentai? Like, these are, like, gods or something as opposed to being... Like, the entities, the power, who knows? Yeah, like, yeah, it just doesn't match up very well. I don't and there's know. the original ones that's clearly Sentai. I'm assuming that's either the current Rangers in Magi Ranger or, like, their ancient mm-hmm. ancestor Rangers, but who knows? But there's the actress that's filling in for Udana. That's, that's, isn't that her? It does look like her. Oh, what is this? This is so inconsistent. <laughs> God, just just keep going. I can't. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah, that that form was kind of cool. Yeah, but that was his second form. That was his like more ranger form. But again, just look like a straight up villain. They all kind of look villainous, except yeah. yeah. And that's why I think maybe it's a thing like we they were the gods. And he's like, I'm the god of mischief. And he's like, I'm the god of justice. So like it would almost yeah. make more sense and something like that. And then there's yeah. the big battle and the betrayal. He's like, wait, I thought he was your friend. He's like, that's what made the betrayal that much worse. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a weird. Yeah, it's a really bad, <laughs> badly <laughs> edited scrap. shot. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like fan art from the 90s. Or or, or it's like a, a clickbait thumbnail. Like yeah. Nick's missing. Udana claims she's not to blame. <laughs> yeah. Something that, woo, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> um, that that's a helmet you can wear. <laughs> yep. Um, this part, I, I mean, Dagron looks cool in this. I'll be honest. Like yeah. Dagron's highlighted the most in this scene. He flips with a baby, as you do. He lands on his back to protect the baby, as you yep, do. Yep. Good call. Um, the baby da- down. Lo- looks very cool there. Uh, Dagron, we that's like. Neat. He get, oh he turned evil he's more powerful but then they turn into balls of light and get trapped in the time cave until later you know on. balls of light fighting and just just like you like to see again which makes more sense if there's some other worldly beings you know if they just took that footage and spliced it in and that's why we don't talk about any of those people is how the story ends <laughs> and then I forgot about this I'm like oh yeah she used this like you said all these powers to seal or unseal a gate that yeah. we're talking about but not. And so we don't know. We know that Leanbo stayed in there to fight. We don't know how he became Korag. Like something yeah. happened in the middle there where he became Korag. And now he's like, yeah. really quick though. I just want to pause here. I really like this like half like ranger, half civilian costume on yellow. I think it never looked better than in the shot. I I like. Well, why is it half civilian? I mean, this is just their. Like, this is their mystic force, not ranger. No, but, like, we see rangers in their civilian forms where they wear their color and some attribute. Right. And this isn't a morphed form, but it's clearly, like, them being rangers, and then well, there's obviously the ranger okay. form. I do like these outfits, but I feel like they've been wearing these since the beginning. Am I wrong? They have, but this looks cool, and other okay. times it looks like everybody else where it's just vests and leather. Okay, gotcha. And capes. 
But um, yeah, Nick is having visions in his head again because Korag says, "Hey, I'm your, I'm your daddy." Um, well, that's the other thing. Everyone kind of takes that like, "Oh, well, there's just this connection," and they never really question it. Like, I also love how this is the second episode in a row. He's like, "Ah, what happened? Korag wants to fight." Okay, okay literally yeah. every time they're just like, "Sure, isn't it a trap? Who cares?" Sentai footage. <laughs> they all yeah. go and fight <laughs> every Definitely time. Sure. Then they go into their legendary mode. And... and and here's the problem that I had. Pause right here. Before the fight even started, I had a sigh. And I'm like, one of these sides is going to totally decimate the other. And mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to be frustrated with the inconsistency. Yeah. And you're exactly right. Because they yep. just wail on him. Yep. Meanwhile, Dagron gets a message to meet his old buddy. Going back to the pacing and how everything's squished in. He's like, oh, it's me, but you know what? I, I think I want to be good again. Okay. He talked about, like, I can't beat the master while Korag's around. I have to gain some trust or whatever. And I thought, oh, okay, he's doing an end run around. He's going to try to get on the good side of the Rangers and team up with them to be Korag or stab them in the back at the appropriate moment. But no, he's like, uh, attack. And it's like, what, what did that gain him? He lied yeah. for like one second. It, yeah, yeah. everything about it is like, uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. And then it's what? You go back to your other form because yeah. and, you, and you can. Yeah. So it's just like a regular fight where he played a prank in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and then he takes the Megazord power, which I guess he could do that. Why did he not do that a long time ago? I don't know. Yeah. But he takes – oh, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. But he, but yeah. then he takes it and he uses it to resurrect all the dead souls that Lean – specifically that Leanbo killed. Yeah. So, okay. What, whatever. Um, cause it's dishonorable. Yeah. It, there's a lot of good things in this episode, but I feel like this could have been two episodes, you know, and, and the pacing would have been better and things could have been explained. A little yeah. The pacing's more. really goofy. Um, the fight's not bad, but again, like last episode and this episode, there's a lot of shrugging and like, like, you know, like it, it's, uh, I, oh, this monster's cool. I like this monster. I could take it or leave it. The thing I liked about it was it made me feel like there were stakes. He Why? came out and I'm like, this monster seems like he is going to mess them up. I believed that this monster was powerful because of the way they described it. That, And I agree with you on that. But and it actual, looks cool and menacing. The actual design is not my favorite. Well, it's you don't just, like really busy stuff like that. I like the kind of Chimera design. I understand it need to be a camera. I think I, I it it is what it needs to be, but I feel like it they could have accomplished the chimera differently in a way that I would have found more aesthetic. I feel like the tusks are the cherry on top you did not want. Ooh. And if they were removed, you'd be a little more okay with it. You're right about that. That is some excellent insight. I'm giving you a ninja steel. I Thank I, you. I, would, I you know, I wouldn't have even said that, but as soon as you said it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Make those tusks horns, and, yeah. and it, it goes up a full letter grade. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm here for. But um, but yeah, I you know, better designs than we've seen from uh, some of those beasts that we just uh, saw the the imposter big dog especially. But <laughs> yeah, I, you know, looking at it now, I would like it as much as I don't like things to be all cluttery. But if that's what they're going for. Give it like one wing or a tentacle or yeah. a tail. Like throw some other weird stuff on yeah, there. I was going to say a, a tentacle or something out of that left hand would be really cool. Or even just a tentacle in addition to the arms. Like it's, it's got, that's it's what I'm saying. Yeah. Head. Like it, it, it yeah. like Omega yeah. red kind of thing. Yeah. Something cool. Yeah. Um, Dagron, I can't tell. Uh, like this, this is another problem I have. I can't tell if he's the worst out of all of them or the best out of all of them. And he just gets the hardest fights. Like, his power makes no sense to me, and I have no baseline of where it I think rests. as a fighter, he's supposed to be the best because he's teaching all of them. Red yeah. maybe now is as good as him. And sure. I think he has above average ranger powers with his blaster and with Jinji and stuff. But I think, yeah, he's often targeted solo alone and solo alone as opposed to solo with his friend. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think he just gets tough fights. And, uh, yeah, but I also think as six rangers go, he's not as OP as a lot of them are. Yes. He, you know, he is more powerful, but not as much as... I feel others. like when he came in, it was that classic thing of, look, we could have never done any of these things without him. And now, like, half the time he's not there. Uh, there's always subplots of everybody trying to steal his genie. 
he, I, he doesn't have a sword, so he has to fight with his blaster, like I, all this weird I chalk stuff. Some of that up. Well, some of it is just like footage slash writing. But some of that I chalk up to when he first came in, he was as powerful or more powerful than the Rangers. Yeah. And he was a much better, more experienced fighter. Now they've had about as much experience as he has. So it's a little bit And the power up. And the power up. Yeah. So and that happens a lot too, where the six ranger comes in, they're more powerful. Then the main rangers get their power ups and it kind of levels things out a that's, little bit. That's the one thing I, I didn't like. And again, we could maybe blame the Sentai on this. I don't like when not everybody gets a power up or the same power up. I, I don't mind that. In in this one especially, I don't like it because he has that weird other form that supposedly is the same as like their lion telephone pole is it, form. Is it though, or is it just a less? Because I think it's it's like person. the ancient warrior form or something. There's right? called there's I thought there's just called legendary. Is it called ancient? One of those. I, I thought know. there were two different terms for those two different forms. I don't care. No. I mean, I like they, the way they, they draw this black lightning. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um. I did. I will say. <laughs> I did laugh at this effect of him dying. I, I think, like, he did the best he could with what he was given, but it's just so goofy. It was so B-grade horror movie for I me. I mean, whatever he's doing, I wasn't even paying attention, because I was paying attention to Genji flying in, like, hey, Dagron! Yeah, he's just... <laughs> so what do you think... Well, you know what happened here, because you've seen it, right? Yeah. So what I think happened is, he's, we're meant to believe he was destroyed, yeah. which is Power Rangers talk for killed. Uh, but we don't see a body, we see a little bit of the lamp, and I think... Jinji came in and was like, I better save him by Whoop. sucking him into the lamp with me. Yeah. And so they're going to have to find him and like rub the lamp and like, hey, here he is, you know? Yeah. Um, and, nice. you know, we get the fight with oh, this guy. Cool, comes in. cool beans. And again, like, I, I'm he starting to, I'm starting to side with the bad guys on this where it's like, Korag, what is your deal? Like, just do either help agreed. us or don't. I don't know what to do with you. I mean, agreed. But you're, it is good though that like, when Korag was beating him, it made no sense. But this Chimera character that has Megazord power, the souls of the dead, he comes and starts beating him up. It's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Fine. I'm with you. But then Korag does still send him down to the netherworld, even though he's like, I don't know about this. And this is always cool where, it, like, this feels like another, like, mini uh, end of season, mid season finale, yeah. whatever, like, like kind of stakes. Switch. There are stakes. Yeah. And I like that they see her and they don't realize she's evil. And they're just yeah. like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And like her answers kind of still make sense for a while. Or she's like, yeah. I don't like it down here. And like, they're like, we're going to get you. And she's like, uh, wait, you're her daughter. <laughs> like, yeah, I, you guys yeah. are all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be my pets. But they do have, they do show a hint later where she's like, are they going to be, they're going to be okay, right? Yeah. Which could be interpreted as, well, she wants her pets. But like maybe it's, oh, being on earth corrupted her. And like, which I like, except. Mm -hmm. We've seen her like in three scenes for a second each. There wasn't a lot of them hanging out and helping yeah. each other and learning lessons about humanity. So she ends up being like, no, I'm good now. It's like, that was not earned at all. at this. Yeah. Point. I, I feel like it's a thing they could write a line or two to describe it. If that's where we're, they're going with it. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I liked the humanity we got in that one line. Uh, Necrolyze is another one. I can't totally get her vibe. Um, where it seems like where she was like, oh, Korag, I didn't mean to like, go. it's like, no, you hate everybody. Like that I was what we got. Like, there was no loyalty. She seems to not be interested in really anybody or anything. And just sort of like, I live here rent free. And sometimes I go and fight. Yeah. Like, I'm not really interested in anybody's plans. Yeah. I go along with whoever's making the least waves. Like, yeah. Like it, it's, um, I, I think this is the cracks truly showing of, when you're trying to cram too much together, like this is where like, well, that doesn't make sense. This is yeah. kind of weird. This seems out of character. Like, um, but uh, this part though, I actually really liked me too. I don't think this is out of character at all. Udon. No, it was hundred percent in character, which again, I liked where Udon is like, I'm going to summon dark Lords and get rid of half my soul. And you're going to get out of my way. And she's yeah. like, Oh, but wait, my, but I have powers that we're going to not talk about. Nope, I'm, I'll just give you some ingredients. The only thing I don't understand is she's like, you will lose your your magic or whatever. Maybe she loses her light side magic because she comes That was the there. thing. It was like, but you might not be able to do this. She's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going down there. Yes. Giving them hell. And that's some good mentoring. And yep. she gets down there and they're getting their powers sucked out. And this is where she's like, they're going to be okay, right? Which, you know, worries me. I do like this effect. That looks really cool. Yeah, it does look cool. Um. I love these shots of Korag too. There's a lot of good lighting and stuff down here. Yeah. But then when Udana shows up, 
and it's badass. It's very cool. Yeah, it is. But I thought, well, that was her spell. But then she like she gets attacked by the master, but she pulls out her wand and starts doing magic. So like, is it like a delayed reaction to when she has no magic? I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know. Words either. have no meaning on a or planet under the cape of dark magic. Fair enough. Uh, and so then we see the red lightning dark, dark specter. <laughs> the master is finally doing something. Now, tell me you weren't 100% getting Darth Vader vibes here. Oh, uh, I was getting... Oh, from from Korag? Korag. He's 100%. literally... Like, like from Return of the Jedi, where he's yeah. literally looking, looking, and there's light. Yeah, it's the lightning, and it's above. Like, they're yeah. floating. Like, everything about it. And he's like, okay, here I go. Like, But yeah. especially the head turn back where, like, Vader is that exact yeah. head turn. The lighting, then, like... Yeah. Um, like, oh, wait, I'm Leanbo. Oh, yeah, I'm so... This part again, like, this is a thing where we've gotten both too much and not enough of yeah. the master. Where it's like, what's your deal, dude? Are you like able to just one tap everybody, or you literally can't go to the human realm because you're just like super, you know, nerfed right now? What's your deal? Yeah, and, and it like so he shot out that lightning, but he was able to stop that one spell. So he's got like one spell a day. Yeah, he looks. This, they did put a little gray in his hair, I guess. But, and he doesn't have the ponytail. Yeah. He's got the Kyle Katarn shoulder pads, though. He does. Uh, yeah. it, it actually reminds me of, like, if Raiden was, like, given this weird prequel backstory for Mortal Kombat where he was a ninja with, like, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, yeah. but then he I'm broke away and, like, you know. I'm 100% with you on that. <laughs> um, but overall, like, I'm excited to see the next part because I want to see yeah. Liam Bo, you know, on the, on the light side of the force. But, um... I don't. I, I talked about this a little bit last time. I don't like crapping on the season because it's not a bad season. It's just not a good season. It's inconsistent. Yeah, it's inconsistent. It's. I think there are other seasons which are sort of like mediocre, like all the way through. And this one's mediocre because it goes up and down, and it, the average is mediocre. I, I think on average it's it's um, below mediocre. Well, we've had this argument where I'm like, I think it's at least average, and you're like, no, it's worse. And then you're like, what's worse? And I'm like, I don't know, Ninja Steel, Megaforce, and then like, what else? I'm like, I don't know, I gotta get a list. So we're not gonna have that conversation again right now. Maybe yeah. after we finish this, we'll, we'll, well, but then we could do it without Overdrive, but that's, then once we finish this, Overdrive will be the only season that I haven't seen, but you will yeah. still have not seen a lot of the Neo Saban stuff. Um, I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen enough of each season You've to have seen, a, you have not watched. I, when I finish this and overdrive, I will have watched every single episode of every power Rangers. Yes. You will still not have. That. Correct. You're yes. not wrong. Um, but I've made <laughs> peace with that, that time. I have been gas. I continue to be the big dog and to the power. See y'all later. And credit. Um, I am going to look right now to see if this is a two-parter or a, like, multi-multi-parter. Oh, I thought it was... I thought it said... Well, yeah, I don't know. I know what there's... I, I didn't... Oh, wait. I don't want to look up Action Activate. I want to look up Mystic Force. Um, yeah. Boost the algorithm. Boost? I, I, uh, it's a two-parter. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Um... You know, we're most of the way through. We got like 12 episodes left or 11 or whatever math is, but yeah, we're getting no, there. keep on keeping on. And eventually, for all three people that watched it, we will wrap up our thoughts on Google Loser Ranger. Yeah, we would. We, that was going to be the next episode we did, to be fair. Uh, but because I'm going to be away, we need to bank this one. And we didn't have time to watch like three or four episodes of that. So that's, yeah. So, but it, no one cares. Do, so it's fine. If you do care and want us to get back to it immediately, say something in the comments. Yeah. Let us know. I'm going to end the recording. Right do now. it.